Welcome to Mythbusters ADHD edition. My name is Dr. Katherine Garforth from Garforth Education. Hi, my name is Selena Lee. I am the ADHD whisperer. We are working together to dispel some common ADHD myths. ADHD is overdiagnosed, and this is not the case. It's actually underdiagnosed, especially in females. And as we're learning more about ADHD and its various presentations, we are realizing that it is underdiagnosed and there are individuals that have ADHD that have been masking it and figuring out ways to make it work or they've been self-medicating and having issues with addiction where if we're able to identify the ADHD and help them support their weaknesses and they'd be able to succeed on a uh, bigger level. I feel this is a very crucial thing because, because it's becoming more awareness out there and more education out there about ADHD. Sometimes when you mention ADHD, there's a roll of eyes. Yes, everyone has ADHD. And even the GPs, even the doctors, they're like, oh, it's all overdiagnosed. Um, but if they understand that if they got them early, if they diagnosed them early, they wouldn't be self-medicating. They wouldn't be, uh, there's, you know, 5% of the population is a very conservative estimate for ADHD is. And yet 25% of the prison population is ADHD is. And that's around a lot of the countries. I've gone and looked for the statistics and generally 25% of the prison population around the world has ADHD. It's, it's not a very good statistic. So something's gone wrong. We haven't identified and we haven't put in support structures and we haven't helped those people because it is a neurological disorder. It is a struggle and we've left them to their own devices and they've um, come up against some struggles and ended up in the wrong place. I feel very strongly about this one. I feel, especially the females, uh, again, not displaying the squeaky wheel, hyperactive, impulsive, um, possibly being more inattentive or compliant or masking their struggles. So they go left to struggle with everything and not find out until they have a child that is difficult. <laughs> so I find these uh, will if people understand this particular myth and understand that it is underdiagnosed and support the early intervention, it would cut down on a lot of crime. It would cut down on a lot of addiction, a lot of money in the health system, a lot of uh, mental health days off work, you know, production. Deloitte did a report last year and they uh, said it cost the Australian economy in one year, $20 billion. They broke it down into the health and the criminal and the work productivity. That, that's a lot of money that ADHD is costing the economy. And if we directed some of it into the support structure, you might not have as much addiction of illicit drugs and alcohol or even um family violence because we have quite a lot of issues here as well with that and um, there's some statistics out there that 50% of the court mandated anger management courses end up with ADHD diagnosis. 